Hey guys, it's Ms. Hollingsworth back with another video. Yesterday we talked about adding adjectives to our writing to take those boring, simple sentences and make them um, more exciting and to um, help our readers know more about what we're trying to explain. So today we're gonna to talk about adding adverbs. So let's review real quick. Um, an adverb is a word that describes a verb. A lot of them end in L-Y, like softly or loudly or quietly, but they don't have to. And remember, adverbs can answer three different questions. The how, the when, the how, or the where, okay? So we started with dogs bark, right? So yesterday we started with dogs bark, and then we added some adjectives, right? Fluffy, happy dogs bark. Didn't you want to add some adverbs? I mean, I know I did. How was the dog barking? So now we're going to do that. Fluffy, happy dogs bark loudly. I don't know if they can bark quietly, can they? So let's try cats hiss. Yesterday we added adjectives to say mean, grumpy cats hiss. What kind of adverb can we add to this? Well, mean, grumpy cats hiss sometimes. That tells us when. Not all the time, not every second of the day, but sometimes they do. Let's try some other ones. We said cake bakes. And yesterday we decided it was a delicious chocolate cake, right? Now let's add some adverbs. Delicious chocolate cake bakes slowly. Oh, it's so hard waiting, isn't it? All right, last one. Yesterday we said dishes rattle. And we were like, well, why are they rattling? When we added adjectives, we found out, oh, because they're spooky haunted dishes that rattle. Okay, so I'm still trying to paint a picture for my reader where when how do these spooky dishes rattle spooky haunted dishes rattle everywhere now i've added that adverb and i've got a mental picture i can imagine standing in a creepy haunted old kitchen and it's not just coming from one part of the kitchen it's all around me the spooky haunted dishes rattling isn't that a much better sentence isn't that amazing what adjectives and adverbs can do for your writing so in Seesaw, you're going to go and you have some two word sentences. They are not the same ones from yesterday. This time we want you to add adjectives to describe the subject and adverbs to describe the predicate. So you're going to have these lovely descriptive sentences. Okay. And uh, I just love this picture because I thought it was pretty. Bye. I'll see you in the next video.